Now to the woman who's already putting the wheels in motion to improve education in Indiana. Democrat Glenda Ritz will be the state's new superintendent of public instruction. She was the leading vote getter behind Mitt Romney and Attorney General Greg Zeller last night. RTV6 reporter Derek Thomas joins us live outside our Monument Circle studio with more on her victory and really what it means for the students out there. Derek. Todd, the former Teacher of the Year had a transition team meeting already. Change is coming, but change with teacher input. This work is going to be like me being a disposable lighter, and that is you've got to light the fire, and sometimes you've got to throw the lighter away, and that's what happened this evening. Dr. Tony Bennett's political career came to an end last night. First-time candidate Glenda Ritz, who said she was outspent 10 to 1, pulled off the upset. Teachers fed up with Bennett's reform circulated 90,000 postcards and communicated on Facebook with their intention to oust him. This is truly a David and Goliath story. I think it's one of the largest upsets, political upsets in Indiana history. Most galling to teachers about the Bennett administration was the A through F grading system for schools. He is seen here awarding a banner to Broad Ripple from going from an F to a B. Teacher evaluations are based on those test scores, and Ritz wants to alter that evaluation formula. It's very complicated. I want to simplify it. I just want to have student growth measures, teacher evaluation that's rigorous with quality. Of course, we're going to look at student uh, scores and then um, have a simplified um, accountability system, not having an A to F designation. Under Ritz's administration, teachers will be at the table to help determine new guidelines. And she's going to say, how can we help you achieve what you need to be achieving? And here's, here's where we expect you to get, but we're going to help you get there. Now, Rich will create a new position called Outreach Coordinator. She says she doesn't know how many she will hire, but she says those coordinators will be there to help the school districts in any way possible. Live downtown, Derek Thomas, RTB6.